Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Here we will be practicing SQL from basic, intermediate to advanced level along with learning them. We are going to practice them on a website called as sqlpractice.com. I will share the link in the description, you can check it out. Here we have different questions. If you can see, it is ordered from easy to medium to hard levels. So we will be solving all these questions in different videos based on the difficulty. and if you can see here you can see the tables which are used in the question and here the question is being displayed here so here is the part where we have to write the query and we'll get the output below so let's start with solving each questions so let's see the table first we have the patients table and we have queried it so the patients table has the columns patient id first name last name gender birth date city province id allergies height and weight so let's see what is the question. The question is show first name, last name and gender of the patients whose gender is M which means male. So let's start writing the query. So we start with the select statement and as we know select statement is where we write the name of the columns which we need in the output query. So we need three columns which are first name, last name and gender. So we type first name, comma, last name, comma gender and next we have to have the from statement a from statement is where you type the name of the table which you are going to query from so here in this case it is the patient's table and also we have one condition is that gender is male so we need to write that condition here so that will be written in the statement where where gender is equal to we open the inverted commas and we put m and we close it and that's it let's run the query and we got the query correct if you can see the output table we have got first name last name and the gender is only male we have all sorted out other genders we have got only genders which matches to the required condition so the first question is solved now let's solve the next question so let's see the second question here we have to show first name and last name of patients who does not have allergies so we just need first name and last name so we can remove the gender column from here and the same table it's patients and our condition here is the allergies should be null so we use where allergies is null so we use an is operator here which checks the allergies column whether it is null or not we do not use an equal to here we use an is operator so let's run it and yeah we got the query correct so we have got the output as first name and last name and we have filtered it based on the condition that allergies is null. So the next question is show first name of patients. Let's start with the letter C. So we can remove the last name column and it's from the patients table where first name. Now we will be using the like operator and we will check if it has the first letter as C so that we use C and then we use a percentage which is a wildcard operator so what percentage does is it finds for the matching columns which has first letter as C and followed by other letters so this will comfortably find us the first names which starts with C and which has other characters in the same name so let's run it so we got the query correct you can also solve this question using the substring function Let's see how to do it. So we'll be using substring first name comma one comma one is equal to C. So let's see what is the syntax of the substring function. So the syntax of substring function is that first you have to give the name of the column from which you need to extract it and next it is the start value from where you have to start and next it is the length of the characters so for us we need the first name which starts with c so we have put one second uh, entry and next we have put another one to say that we need to find out only one character after that and we equate that to c so when it's equal to c so we just get only columns which starts with the letter c as the first name so let's see the next question show the first name and last name of patients that weight within the range 100 to 120 inclusive of both the numbers so let's see first name comma last name as asked in the question from patients where 
weight between we use the between operator 100 and 120 and we got the answer right we can also use by splitting this into two conditions rather than using between so we can tell that weight is greater than or equal to 100 and weight is less than or equal to 120 if you do that also we'll get the answer correct so let's see the next question. Update the patient's table for the allergies column. The patient's allergies is null, then replace it with NKA. So we are going to update the patient's table. So we use the update statement and we put the patient's table here. And we are going to set, set the column allergies to NKA. And we have to give the condition where allergies is null let's run it so we got the query correct so what a set command does is it is used to update a specific column in a table and here we need to update the allergies column with nka when it is null in the patients table so we use it with update patients and we get the desired results so let's see the next question we have to show first name and last name concatenated into one column to show their full name so here we can use the concat function which will add any two columns in the particular table. So let's do that. So we use select concat function and we concat first name comma and we need a space between the first name and the last name. So what usually concat does is it just joins two strings together. So since it we need the differentiation of a space bar between the first and last name we give a blank space between the two first name and the last names and then we give a comma and we type last name and we give an alias as and we name it as full name it's from the table patients let's run the query and we got the query correct if you see the output we got the full name we got donald space waterfield if let's see if we don't use this character here and we'll run it now so you see that donald there's no space and we get water field so that is the problem we need to give a space character in between the in the concat function to get the desired output so that's it for this video thank you for watching we'll be solving the next questions of easy medium and hard levels in the coming videos which i'll be posting soon thank you